Hello children. Today, we're going to do a play, The Merchant of Venice, Act 1, Scene 1. Now, I'll give you an outline about the opening scene. In the opening scene, we are introduced to Antonio. Now, who is Antonio? He is a merchant in Venice. He is accompanied by two friends, Salerio and Solani. Now, these two friends and Antonio, they're walking down in a street in Venice. Now, what happens is Antonio is sad, depressed. He doesn't know reason for his depression. And his two friends, they're trying to explain to him the reason for being sad. Let's see what happens. Let's go with the text. Okay, so you'll find it more easier. I hope so. Enter Antonio, Solano and Saleri. Antonio, in sooth, I know not why I am so sad. Truly, really, I, I don't know why I am so sad. It wearies me. It, the sadness, depresses me. You say it wearies you. You are telling me that you are depressed. I don't know. I don't know how you are depressed. But how I caught it, how I got it, how I found it, or came by it, how I came across it. What stuff, what mixture it is made of, this sadness is made of. And whereof, from where, of it is born, it originated. I am to learn. I would like to know. I am absolutely blank. I don't know. And such a want of it, and such a want of it, want of it means idiot. Sadness makes of me. Sadness makes me like a stupid fool. Somebody asks me, hey, you're sad? I said, yeah. Why are you sad? I don't know. Hey, you're stupid. You don't know the reason for your sadness? So such a want of it, sadness makes of me. Sadness makes me like an idiot. That I have much ado to know myself. That I would like to know myself much better. I want to know the reason, the reason for my sadness. Now, his friend, Salerio, he says, Sir, your mind is tossing on the ocean. Your mind is going up and down. You're a merchant. That's why your mind is on the ocean, on the seas, on the floods. You have the waves. There, over there, where your Argo sees, where your Argo sees, Argo sees means ships filled with cargo. Where your Argo sees with portly sail, where your ships full of cargo. Cargo means goods, commodity, going towards the port. Like seniors. Your ship looks like a senior. What is a senior? A senior is a gentleman. A proper gentleman, like seniors and rich burgers and rich citizens. Your ship is like a rich citizen. It's compared to a rich citizen on the flood, on the ocean, on the sea. Or as it were, or just like the pageants of the sea. The pageants, it's looking spectacular. Beautiful, marvelous scenery. Beautiful, lovely. Your ship so tall on the sea do overpeer the petty traffickers. Your ships are overpeering, bending down, looking down at petty small traffickers. Traffickers are small boats that courtesy, that bow down, courtesy to them. The small boats are showing courtesy. They're bowing down their heads. Do them reverence. Do them reverence. Reverence means respect. 
the small boats are bowing down and showing respect to your big ship. As they fly by, as they pass by, with their woven wings, with their woven wings, wings means sails, canvas sails. In those days, there were no motorboats. There were only sails and oars. Antonio looks at Salario and then he doesn't say anything. He just uses his body language, you know, body language. Like, yeah. Then Solano, the other friend, he says, believe me, sir. Trust me, sir. Believe me. Had I venture for it. If I had venture, venture means your business. If I had your type of business, the better part of my affection, the better part means the greater part of my affections, of my feelings, of my emotion, would be with my hopes abroad, would be with my hopes, thoughts. I'll be thinking all the transactions, all what is happening with my ship abroad. In where? In the seas. Plucking the grass, I should be still. First, I'll be still. Suddenly, I start getting, I start wondering what, what might happen to my ship. Then I'll pluck the grass. I'll pick it up, lift it up, release it, and see which direction the wind is blowing. Plucking the grass to know where sits the wind, to know which direction the wind is blowing. Then fast, quickly, I'll look through maps. Atlas, big. I look through maps, peering in maps for ports. I'll be looking where, where is a port? Where is a harbor? And fires, fires are also harbors and channels. That's roads. And every object, anything, supposing anything, every object that might may make me fear, any object which might make me scared, obviously. If any object makes me scared or bring misfortune, bring bad luck to my ventures, to my business, out of doubt, no doubt, definitely everyone will accept it. No doubt would make me sad. That's why I know you are sad because of that. So you don't have to tell me. Again, Antonio looks at him, uses body language. No. Then Salerio says, sir, my wind cooling my broth. My wind cooling my broth means, sir, when I blow wind to cool my broth, broth means soup, would blow me to an egg, would make me shiver, get scared. Because when I start thinking, if I blow on the soup, I can see ripples on the soup. And I start imagining, oh my God, I'm blowing and it's moving. Just a bowl of soup. Just imagine in the seas, if a wind or a storm blowing, what will happen? My ship will be tossed. So it will blow me to an egg. Then I would start thinking, what harm a wind too great at sea might do to my ship. That time I'll be scared. I should not want to see the sandy hourglass. I don't want to see. I don't want to see a sandy hourglass. A sandy hourglass is a conical like shape. It's an instrument by which you can see time passing. I don't want to see time passing. I want the time stop. Because I know something wrong is going to happen. Something wrong will happen to my ship. I don't want to see the sandy hourglass because the sand. The sandy hourglass. Which should I think of shallows? It'll make me think of shallow land. The sea, water, shallow, and of banks, flats, they'll be all silt automatically. Obviously, my ship will get stuck. It can't move. And see my wealthy Andrew, and see my wealthy Andrew. Now, the name of the ship, he just referred to as Andrew. Andrew is referred to the ship. And see my wealthy Andrew docked in sand. 